This was my first Halloween weekend in eight years that I didn't spend getting drunk seven days in a row out at parties with a gallon of fake blood poured all over my naked body. Is it making me feel quirky and mature? Maybe a little bit. I didn't not go out to feel mature and quirky. I did it because I didn't fucking feel like it. Well, I went out, so today's Sunday. I went out on Wednesday. Or no, I went out Monday. <laughs> I went out last Monday to a Halloween party. And then there was a party on Thursday. I didn't go. There was a party on Friday. I didn't get invited. There was a party last night. I didn't get invited. But I wasn't going to go anyways. I wasn't gonna go anyways. I'm saving myself for the actual day of Halloween. I'm going out on Tuesday. But when I tell you I felt like a intellect while I was sitting on the couch last night watching everyone on TikTok get ready for their Halloween parties and I was like on the couch like drinking my Celtic sea salt lemon water. It's Sunday and I had plans but they fell through because I'm lazy so I decided I would start a vlog. Hi! I was just on FaceTime with my boyfriend but I hung up on him so that I could say hi to you guys. Do you guys want to see? So I had to get like the new update the other- I, f I always forget to update my phone I never think of it and then my phone breaks and I'm like why is my phone broken and the people in my life, my loved ones are like, do you update your phone? I'm like, no. So I updated my phone the other night and everything is so different, but I like, I made Colin's like poster photo for when he calls me, my favorite picture of him in the whole world. And then he was like, would you like to see the one I have for you? I said, of course I do. This is what he sends me. Me in a box, and it's the most unflattering photo ever. Like, I look 60. Just by the way, the, the shadows are hitting my face. If you could pick me up like a little doll, and like, <laughs> and like do my hair in like your favorite way that I ever wear it, and like the, the clothing items that you like best on me that I wear, what would you pick? I have a picture for this. You have a picture for this? Yes. Let me see this photo. No, I'm not gonna... I just showed my vlog, um, your poster photo for me. <laughs> funny poster photo. Mm hmm Hilarious. I love that outfit. And I love that picture, too. I'm disappointed I wasn't there for that. Yeah. You hyped me the fuck up when I sent you that photo. I'm trying to pick out an outfit for the day. I'm in my secondary closet right now because I never... This is like the closet in my office where I keep the clothes that I never wear, but I feel like I never look in here. So I'm looking in here right now, but eh. I was thinking, I'm like, how quirky and fucking cool would I be if I showed up to like a flea market today in a sweater vest? That's what all the cool girls in LA do. If you're a cool girl in LA, you're going to the trading post. It's like this big flea market. You're pulling up to the trading post in a sweater vest. Instantly cool if you do that. But I just don't think I'm in the mood, you know? I got this shirt like a while ago for the sole purpose to wear it underneath sweater vests. See this one, see I wanted to be one of those girls. Sweater vests just aren't my thing. I thought that I could pull off sweater vests for a while and they would become like my staple because they're just so big and like they're my vibe, but I'd never wear them. The tag's still on this one, but it's cute. Like I feel like this, Not I'm not wearing that today, sorry. I also got this like cigarette. <laughs> denim jacket thing at the trading post like literally a few weeks ago but i just don't know if this is i think i'm going for like clean girl vibes today that's like my new thing and this is giving like this is giving my past life i don't know if i want to bring her back today after that whole entire dramatic outfit debacle that i was just battling this is seriously what i'm about to like land on I got the viral I heart my boyfriend sweatpants um, from the TikTok shop, but I they're a little big. All right, they're they're a little big. I like oversized sweatpants, but I didn't know what size would be oversized for me, so I got a large, way too big. I know you guys can't see the bottom, but I'm gonna show you. A little too big. Do they look stupid though? I don't think it looks stupid. Well, it does look stupid. <laughs> Do you want to see my OOTD? What is that? Outfit of the day. Oh, yes, of course. Okay. That's very cute. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good outfit. Thanks. God, I love you.
Oh, I love you too. Oh, I need to tell my vlog that funny story of why I couldn't buy the sweatpants when I actually wanted to. I think you should. You think I should tell the story? I think you should. I'll tell the story. So I wanted to buy these sweatpants like maybe like a month and a half ago, like in August. I wanted to buy these sweats. But I was like awkward about it because me and Colin still hadn't said like I love you to each other. So I was too awkward to even just like buy the sweatpants and wear them because I didn't want to insinuate that word because I was scared. So I like literally didn't buy the sweatpants because I was too awkward. Um, and then as soon as we started saying I love you to each other, I ordered the fucking sweatpants. <laughs> we were at a wine bar like three weeks ago, I believe. And I finally said it. And he said it back. He was like, I love you so much. I started crying at the bar. I cried. <laughs> okay, I changed my shirt because the other shirt that I was wearing completely defeated the purpose of trying to be comfortable. It hurts me. I love this shirt. I got it from Aritzia, but it's just very tight. I use it um, as like a contouring shirt. That's what it's made for, so it's painful. So I changed. This one's from Brandy. I'm actually walking to Starbucks to get a coffee because I have like a bunch of canned coffees in my fridge right now, but they're very milky and sugary so i can't have too many of them and i drink a lot of coffee so i need to go get like a cold brew get back, so. i just got into my car to go to the nail salon and i was going to dial their phone number and then i was like why the fuck would i do that i hate going to the nail salon so i'm not going my nails look like this right now not cute not cute but I, like my least favorite thing in the whole world is going to the nail salon. That's why I stopped getting acrylics like a long time ago. I got acrylics for like a few years and then I was just like, I can't keep going to the nail salon every two weeks. It's torture. I even grabbed my book from upstairs so that I could read while I was there and now I'm not going. This is the book I'm reading right now. Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. I read two of Karen Slaughter's books last week and honestly like, couple of the best books I've ever read in my whole life. Like amazing, like I can't, which ones did I read? I read Pretty Girls and I read Girl Forgotten and oh my God, especially Pretty Girls. Pretty Girls is probably one of the, my favorite books I've ever read. This one, I'm like, t I'm almost 200 pages in, like I like it, but it's not as good for me because I hate the main character. I hate her, she's stupid. She's dumb, she's slow, she's annoying, she's a coward. I don't like her, so it's harder for me to get into books when I don't like the main character because like, I don't care if she lives or dies. But it is pretty good. But I grabbed this because I was gonna go to the nail salon, but now I'm not going. My dad just tried to call me, so I'm gonna call him back. I declined his call and he texted me, feeling the deep hatred. So yesterday I was on my, I was like in my Instagram DMs and I get this quite often because I do OnlyFans so I get like a lot of messages from guys, like very sexual messages from guys on Instagram DMs so it's like whatever. But I clicked on this particular one because it looked like he had a girlfriend in his profile picture and he was DMing me like the craziest things. And he's been DMing me these like nasty sexual like messages for over a year now and he has a clear girlfriend or wife in his profile picture. So I'm like, what do I do? Like, I need to tell her, like, this is so beyond messed up. I'm like, so I click on his profile, but he's private. So I couldn't find like the girl's Instagram. So I hit up my boyfriend because Colin is like, Mr. Investigator, he can find anything out on social media. So Colin like made his profile private so that this guy like wouldn't see that he has pictures with me on his profile and he, Colin requested to follow him, but he never, he like declined his request. So Colin reached out to like one of his friends to try to request this guy and he still wouldn't accept the, the follow request or anything. We ended up not being able to find this guy's girlfriend. So I posted a TikTok fucking calling this guy out. And listen, I, that's just not something that any girl wants to find out about on TikTok. Like I would have much preferred to like just DM her privately and do it like that. But I, we could not find her fucking Instagram. We couldn't find her Facebook. We didn't even know her name. Couldn't figure it out. So I posted this TikTok and I just freaking tagged him. I, I, Cause we found his TikTok. So I tagged his TikTok and I put his like Instagram at in the comments too and people found her Instagram and her Facebook. So I just requested to follow her so that I can DM her. That's just such a shitty situation. I feel so fucking bad, but like I had to like let her know. I couldn't just like 
ignore that. There's a few people being like, this is gonna affect your income. Like, don't do this. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if it affects my income. Nobody that has a girlfriend or a wife should be buying my content on OnlyFans, should be buying anyone's content on OnlyFans. I don't give a fuck if that messes with my revenue. I don't want a single fucking dollar from a married man, period. I don't want that. Anyways, I saw Maggie McDonald making homemade tomato soup on her YouTube channel the other day. And I tried to make homemade tomato soup and grilled cheese like a few months ago, but I did the recipe like so much differently than she did. The soup I made was like fine, but the grilled cheese was actually inedible. And that's a lot coming from me because I will eat anything. So I'm gonna try to replicate her recipe. So I'm at Whole Foods to get the ingredients. <laughs> Okay, I just finished. I got everything to make the soup and I cut vegan mac and cheese from the hot bar. So I'm gonna eat this in the car and watch my little YouTube video. I'm watching Maggie McDonald, of course. Having a nice meal in your car is like arguably like God's greatest gift. All these halfway movements, need a whole lot of food. <laughs> you know when like a random ass song will come on like after your song is done playing, like a random rap song just came on and I started shaking my little ass in the car and that was fun. My feet are sweating, you guys. I was like, it's so crisp outside today, it's so cold. Like, I'm gonna bundle up. My fucking feet are sweating. I'm not wearing socks because I thought I was just running out the door to go to Starbucks. Um, and it's like, it's 81 degrees. I thought it was gonna be like 69 today. I don't know what's going on. I'm at Trader Joe's really quick to grab flowers because the flowers in my apartment are literally growing mold. Like, they're rotting. So I think it's time to get new ones. And I just don't like the flower selection at Whole Foods. I don't know what it is. It's more expensive than Trader Joe's and it's just like, they're all like bouquets. I don't know, it's just not my thing, so. starting to prepare my tomato soup. I'll show you guys in a second, but you're gonna think I'm a freak for this. When I'm cooking, and I'm cooking with like a white onion, a yellow onion, doesn't matter what kind of onion, I fucking eat it raw. And if I'm like pan searing something with onions in it, you know how when you're like cooking pasta, you'll like take little pieces of pasta out to like eat while it's cooking? My thing is onions. I'll like pick little onions out while it's like frying just so I can like have a taste. Okay, I just finished this part. I'm like literally just following her recipe like verbatim. I cut up like five Roma tomatoes or you can use plum tomatoes, but I just like roughly chop them and put them on a baking sheet with like parchment paper. And I cut up half, a little bit more than half of a white onion, just like roughly cut it up and threw it in there. I'm so excited because I got, I didn't even need olive oil. I already have olive oil, but I got the Graza olive oil that's in like the squeezy bottle and I'm so excited about this. But I'm just gonna coat this in some olive oil and I'm gonna do some salt and pepper and I'm gonna mix it all up with my hands. Oh, this is really nice. This is fun. I got too many tomatoes because I'm not cooking for anyone besides myself, but I came home with like eight fucking tomatoes. So I only used five. I think that's still a bit too much, but Maggie also said to make sure like all the tomatoes are facing up. So I'm gonna do that. I love Maggie, I'm like crazy. Okay, so embarrassing. I wanted to roast garlic along with this stuff and I thought I had aluminum foil, but I totally don't have aluminum foil. So I looked up like how to roast garlic without foil. It said parchment paper and kitchen twine. So I wrapped it up with parchment paper, but I don't know what kitchen twine is. So that's a piece from Marty's bird toy wrapped around this garlic. I don't know if this is the same material as kitchen twine. I don't care. So I'm just gonna stick this like there. I don't know. The oven is preheated to 450 and I'm gonna roast this for 
about an hour, but I'm gonna keep like checking on it. Okay, also just for like a side, I'm gonna roast some vegetables. So I did broccoli, Brussels sprouts, shallots, bell pepper, and zucchini. And I just did like olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then I put some like lemon slices on top, cause how cute. And I'm gonna roast this too. I'm gonna do my skincare while all that stuff is roasting. I'm so excited, you guys, Colin is gonna be in LA twice in November, and he hasn't been here since July. He just works, like he's an apprentice right now at his job, and he has like normal work hours, whereas I don't, so it's much easier for me to visit him. So he's only been out here once, and then I've been to Illinois, I think like five times, or maybe six times. I'm gonna use this L'Occitane en Provence um, cleansing cream to wash my face. Um, so yeah, it's just like a lot harder for him to come out here. So that's why I go there more than he comes here, but he's coming on November 8th through the 12th. And then he's coming for Thanksgiving and he's gonna be here for like five days. So that's really exciting. I'm so happy I get to spend Thanksgiving with him. We're gonna like literally make so much food. I'm so excited. I think I'm just gonna do some toner right now so that I'm not uh, shiny and oily for the remainder of this video. He's so cute. We were just on the phone and like he was planning on having um, three friends over to like play pool and watch the football game at his house. So he like went out and got chips and queso. Like he's so cute. But now there's like more people going to his house than expected and he like calls me and he's like, it's just like I only got chips and queso for like four people and now there's like more people and I like literally cried. It was the cutest thing ever. Okay, I can't tell if this is roasted enough for the life of me, but I don't care. And the garlic definitely isn't done, but again, I literally don't care. So I'm gonna blend this up. I'm gonna blend it up in batches because I'm using a Nutribullet. So I'm just gonna do like little batches of it. This is what it looks like. I think this part is done, but the garlic definitely isn't, but I don't care, so. And then I'm just pouring in some vegetable stock. I don't know how much to do. The garlic is really hot. I don't know if I want it, because you know how people like squeeze it out? It's really hot. So I'm gonna try to squeeze like half of this out because I'm doing this in batches. I don't really know how that's gonna work. Oh wow, that's hot. Ah, ah, oh, it's like slip out. All right, this isn't gonna be aesthetic. I'm just gonna like literally pick the garlic out one by one. Like a, oh, oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a dash of cream. I'm using the Dairy-Free Heavy Whipping Cream Alternative by Silk. I use this whenever I make like creamy pasta sauces or whatever because I'm vegan. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, I burned the fuck out of these vegetables. I'm just not good at roasting things, but the soup came out really good. I just tried it. This isn't looking too good for me. I'm <laughs> Wait, the vegetables are actually like really good. Even though I burnt, I didn't really burn them though. They're just kind of charred. I think I did something here. The broccoli may be dry. Let me try the broccoli. I just tried the bell pepper and the Brussels sprout and those were good. A bit dry, but good. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. I just put on my Christmas jammies that apparently are never coming off, ever. I, I wear these every single night. I just realized, I went to go grab my book. I left my book in my car earlier. So I'm walking to my parking garage right now in my Christmas jammies and I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck unless I run into somebody that I'm gonna be like, oh shit, I have to explain myself. But let's go do this together because I'm, I'm a little horrified. I could change. But how boring would that be? I'm like so annoyed. My like NBA league pass won't let me watch the game tonight because it's not in LA. So it's like blocked in my area and I can't watch it. So I'm like trying really hard to watch the Bears Chargers football game, but I don't give a fuck about football. I don't care at all. You couldn't pay me to care. You couldn't set me up for life to care about football. I just have it on because my boyfriend loves the Bears, so I was like, if I can't watch the Lakers, I guess I'll just watch this. I don't care. So, this is rich. Wait, Tara, please. What if we successfully make it this entire trip without seeing anyone? I think that's highly unlikely because three people just pulled into the parking garage and they have to get out of their car at some point. Imagine I'm stuck in the elevator with like eight people like this. I would literally just start rambling like, oh, I've been wearing these for like a week. 
That's what I do when I get awkward. I just start to ramble. And like, <laughs> what if my book's not even in here? Like, I'm pretty sure it is. My mac and cheese container is still in here. And my car is starting to smell like it. Someone literally sees me taking a thumbnail right now. I'm moving out. I just heard one of the doors close. I think someone's waiting for the elevator right now. Fuck. Oh my god, and I'm vlogging like a little bit embarrassing. Okay, I thought we were gonna make it the whole way without running into somebody. I totally just ran into somebody, but I could tell he wanted nothing to do with me. He did not want to speak to me, so I didn't start rambling. And he got off on the first floor, so it wasn't that bad. I was prepared to start rambling. I'm kind of in the mood to talk. Um, but... Do you guys remember that one vlog I filmed, like, last year, where I, like, I had so much energy at, like, 9 p.m. I was like, I'm gonna film a vlog where I go out and adventure at nighttime. And I, like, went out and adventured at nighttime. I just, like, went to, like, Rodeo at night and, like, walked around and, like, went to Target. And I didn't get home till like midnight and I felt crazy. But it was such, it ended up being like a really fun night for me. Cause unless I'm like going out drinking, I usually don't leave my house after like 5 p.m. So like running errands and like walking around at nighttime isn't something I normally do. So I had like a lot of fun that night and I kind of want to do it again, right? Does anyone else get like a crazy burst of energy at like 9 p.m., 8 p.m., like at nighttime when you're not supposed to get energy. I did, that happens to me every night. Like I'm like cracked right now. Maybe I am a night person, but I don't know how that's possible. Like I like literally, I force myself, <laughs> I force myself to bed every single night at like, well, I get in bed at like 9, 9 15, and then I'll read and like fuck around on my phone, talk to my boyfriend or whatever. And I force myself to go to sleep at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock every night because then, cause I like to wake up at seven. But if I go to bed any later than that, I won't wake up at seven. And if I just like stayed up at night, like I probably wouldn't get tired until like 2 a.m. Should I not be doing that? Cause I'm clearly a night person. Like I like don't want to speak in the morning. I'm like stressed out, like blah, blah, blah. And then at nighttime I get all this energy. So maybe I'm like a night owl. I don't want to be a night owl though. Like I like my little morning, like my 7 a.m. morning routine. Like it's like fun. You're in my fridge. I was grabbing my nightly Olipop. The root beer one, of course. I didn't drink the root beer one last night. I drank the orange one because I wanted to make like an orange creamsicle ice cream float. And it was good. Mmm. Oh my God, I'm happy. I just set my living room up for my nighttime relaxation. I am going to edit. I filmed like a freaking 10 minute long TikTok today about um, tips on how to be successful on OnlyFans because I get those questions a lot and I want everybody to be rich, hot, and informed. So I made like a TikTok about it. So I'm going to edit that. And I have a few OnlyFans pictures that I need to sort out. So I'm going to do that right now and wrap myself up in my blanket. And then I'm gonna read. That's sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Cause I like literally, like I, I think I knew he wasn't looking at me and that's why I like shot the dirty look. Cause I wanted everyone else around me to be like, oh yeah, she's pissed. Cause everyone noticed, it was awkward. But then I just like walked to the other side of the fucking store. Like Tara, grow a pair. Venet. Venet. Did you know Venus is a star? I did know that. You did? Yeah, she's my son. He heard you. Okay, I'm in bed. I'm gonna do my peak and pit of the day. My peak was, honestly, I was thinking about this. My peak was like running down to the parking garage with you guys in my pajamas. Like, I don't know why that was so fun, but it felt like a late night adventure. And it made me so giggly and so happy. Like, I was literally just doing my peak and pit with my boyfriend. And I was like, well, I took my vlog downstairs to the parking garage. <laughs> And that was my peak. And my pit was, um, I was just watching the news and a tribute for Matthew Perry came on. It was just really sad to watch. Friends is such a huge part of my life. It always has been. I've seen every single episode like literally 10 times. Matthew Perry is such a gifted actor and he was just so, that show had just such a great impact on so many fucking people. And 
it wouldn't be anything without Matthew Perry. And it just sucks so bad. And it's so sad that he had to go through what he has went through. How he had to struggle with his sobriety for so long is just really sad. And my heart goes out to his family and his close friends. And it's just a really sad it's a really sad thing, but the tribute that they had for him on the news was just really upsetting to watch, and that's just been sucky. Comment your peaks and pits down below. I had you guys start doing that from my last vlog, and I loved going through all your comments and like reading about your peaks and your pits. It was so much fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. It was another fun day. I love hanging out with you guys. You're my fucking besties, and I love you so much. If you want to follow my other socials, my TikTok and my Instagram are both just Tara's World, and my OnlyFans is It's Tara's World. My SD card was full, sorry. My OnlyFans is It's Tara's World or Tara's Tits, and I'm going to link my Amazon storefront down below. The cats go fucking crazy at this hour. It's freaking demon hour. When you have cats, if you know, you know. At like, what time is it? 9.30. That's when shit gets crazy. Um, I love you guys um, so much. Thank you for hanging out. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm begging. I'm kidding. Um, well, no, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, bye. I love you. Mm.